What is up YouTube? Just want to take a minute to uh, say thank you for checking out my video. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, dislike, um, all the fun stuff just to help the YouTube algorithm do its thing and get me out there in front of more people so they can tell me that my head's too shiny or I'm stupid or whatever. I need to be nicer to this little fuzzball here. Okay, she doesn't want to sit up there. So anyway, um, and then I still have the Patreon. I'm working on what I want to do with that for Patreons. Um, maybe put their suggestions or comments or whatever uh, to the front of the list. Um, I don't know. Maybe as I get bigger, I'll do something else too. But uh, I've got that. And then I also have a, a Amazon affiliate link. Uh, both of those links for the Patreon and the Amazon are down in the description below. Uh, with the Amazon, it's regular Amazon. Only difference is if you purchase something from that or using that link, uh, I get a get a little uh, commission off of that so that would be great um no additional charge for you guys though and i do not get to see who bought what i do see what was bought but not who bought it um but yeah we'll get to that video here shortly you guys have a good one Cool. Guys were asking where she'd been and when she might be back. So tonight, Brenda invited Bryn, who has a pussy cat. <laughs> TK wants to say hi. That acid? What is up, YouTube? It's your friendly neighborhood running bald man back again for another video. And before I get into it, I just want to give a quick thank you and shout out to everybody for understanding or being patient with me while I waited on power to get back on. Um, yeah, it, it it took a couple days. It was a rough couple days, but I got it back on finally and. Uh, I'm glad to have power back. Uh, <laughs> you don't realize how crazy the thoughts in your head can get uh, while you're in complete silence with just just a cat to talk to. <laughs> uh, but enough about that. We are doing our revisited series today. So we've got our Java application pulled up here. So let's give it a run and see who we have today. The Doors, the end. All right, The Doors, the end. All right, well, give me a minute and I'll get that pulled up and I'll uh, see you guys on the other side. And I'm back. All right, I've got Doors, the end, live at the Hollywood Bowl in 1968. Uh, so it looks like we've got a DeLorean and we're doing, getting that, that some bitch up to a... Uh, 88 miles an hour. We got a flux capacitor ready to go, and uh, we're going back in time. So, uh, Doors the End. I don't remember a whole lot about this. I know it's a relatively long video. It's 15 minutes, so I'll try and keep the pausing definitely to a minimum. Um, I don't know that I really cared for this one particularly. Um, maybe if it, if it was a different version of it. Uh, I would probably enjoy that more. Um, <clears throat> about the only Doors song that I could think of, if they even sing it, is that uh, Come On Baby, Light My Fire. Uh, somebody let me know in the comments if that is actually one of their songs or not, or, or who that belongs to. Uh, but let's get to it. Doors, the end, live at the Hollywood Bowl. Come on, turn the lights on. Turn them way down. Hey, Mr. Lightman. 
You gotta turn those lights way down on them. Hey, I'm not kidding, you gotta turn the lights down. I mean, when they want the lights down, you turn the lights down. Oh, come on. I like the little tambourine, I think oh, that what is. Are we This is the end, beautiful friend. Okay, I can remember this a little bit now. This is the end, the song ain't my right. only friend, the end of our elaborate plans, the end of everything that stands, the end, no safety or surprise, the end. I'll never look into your eyes again Can you picture what will be So limitless and free Just I like his voice Definitely a lot deeper than what it looks like it would be I do like the black concert hall there and his black shirt. It's complimentary. definitely feel like this would be a song that uh, if you're familiar with that 70s show, what they would have playing uh, when they're sitting in their circle and doing what they would do, circle things. This seems a very mellow You can almost see like the, the bead curtain and smelly incense and lava lamps. And we were in this house and there was a sound like silverware being dropped on linoleum and then somebody ran through the room and they said Have you seen the accident outside? And everybody said Hey man, have you seen the accident outside? Have you seen the accident outside? Seven people took a ride. Six bachelors and their bride.
birds to eat your eyes. That's that's some LSD stuff here, right there. Oh, to a grasshopper! I think I'll open a little shop. A little. They had to have been on something when they wrote they this. Things, and I think I'll oh, to a grasshopper! I have a big green grasshopper out there. Probably on someone there at this concert. Mama? Looking real good. Uh oh, I blew it. It's a moth. <laughs> That's all right. He ain't got long to go. So we'll forgive him. And Sonata, the dog crucifix, the dead seal, ghosts of the dead car. I really do son. like the slower beat, it's not the, car. the rhythm of this. I can't take it. Hey, look out, there's somebody coming, and there's nothing you can do about it. Definitely a chill song. Killer awoke before dawn. He About halfway through it. <laughs> he took a face from the ancient gallery and he he walked on down the hallway, baby. <laughs> Talking about the killer walked on down the hall, kind of makes me think of uh, Walking Phoenix's Joker movie. There at the end. Yes, son. I want to kill you. Huh. I can see when they hit their high points um, in his voice, I mean, how they could be really, really big, especially back then. Even today, I mean, I know they still have a, a cult following today.
this was definitely way back before everything got all PC today. And yeah. I wouldn't mind being able to go back in time to one of their concerts just to say I was there. But yeah. I mean, back when you could just chill at a concert and have a really good time and not all lights and flash and dance and nowadays it's, I don't know, you have to watch your back concerts today. That's some good guitar work. This part could almost be something out of a horror movie or something. And then go back to the slower mellow, he likes a cigarette. This would be a good, good song to end a concert with. I mean, it's kind of mellow, it's long, but, you know, gets everybody ready to leave. Saying, hey, this is the end. Get the F out. Or you ain't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end. Especially that way, I mean, it's not an abrupt end. You can see this also being the last song on, on an album, too. And that was The Doors, The End, live at the Hollywood Bowl in 1968. I mean, it was a good song. I mean, I, I, I did enjoy it. Uh, definitely a low, lot more mellow than some of the other stuff that I've listened to uh, or wouldn't normally listen to. Um, 
I don't know that this particular video though is the best. Um, maybe on like a side B of a cassette, you know, the last very last song. If you're not familiar with a a side B is back back in the eighties and probably the seventies too. Um, you had cassette tapes that we had to play and for our music and once you got to the end of one side, you had to take them out, flip them over, and then the other side, that was a side B. Um, but yeah, it was a good song. Or this was a good song, but definitely not my favorite. Um, again, like I said, it's probably just the venue or the version that I've watched. Looking at it, it's got... Oh... I think it had like a million, almost a million and a half views. So, um, but I think that's going to do it for today, guys. And I'll try to get everything caught up to where I've, if something happens with power again, I won't have that gap in a day. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time.